Hi everyone. Hi Bumblebee. Uh, yes, last week I sent, I went on uh, Friday night at six o'clock. You can order the blue boxes from the Goodwill site. Uh, Their rescue boxes, uh, I forget what they call them. But uh, I got to order three of them this time. Sometimes you get to order one, sometimes you're not fast enough to even get one. But I happened to get three of them, so I went with that. I got a denim box, a regular little apparel box, and a shoe box, I think. I also had ordered thread up boxes, so, uh, but I think that's the three uh, blue boxes I ordered. Now, these blue boxes aren't very big. They usually have just 10 to 12 items in each one. And uh, I think the shoe box is only five or six pairs of shoes. So they're smaller boxes. They all cost $29.99 plus the shipping. I think it comes to $35, $37 or something like that uh, with shipping and tax. So I opened up the uh, denim box to make sure it was because it was heavier than the rest. So I assumed it was the denim box, but I haven't gone through it. So let's see what it says here. Yes, 10 to 12 pairs. So I'm assuming they're all jeans and things. It could be any denim, I guess. Any denim. So let's see here. The first thing is not a pair of jeans. It's a little jean jacket. It's almost white. It's so washed out. It had been, I'm sure it had been, it either had been blue at one point, really light, light blue, or Maybe it was white washed with some blue denims. It, it has just a tint of bluish on here, but it's mostly white. It has a raw hem on the bottom, the metal buttons, and it's by Hollister, uh, which is a Target brand, I think. And it's a medium, so a little denim jacket. Uh, it has some distressing on there on the pockets so that's okay there's a pair of jeans oh this is a button fly this is by miss look these are uh, exposed uh buttons wait till i button these and you'll see what i mean I'll just button a couple. They're all here, but um, you see what I mean. It's a button fly. There's another button here. It's there, but I didn't button. And the brand is Miss Look, and it's size small. So they're like a straight leg, uh, medium wash, denim the button fly. I'll look up that. I've had this brand before, but I can't remember if it's anything approaching okay or not. Hollister is American Eagle. It has an eagle on there, but I didn't, I don't know. Hollister is part of American Eagle? Really? Hi, Diane. Hi, Randy. I'm doing okay. My sister is going home from the hospital today. She did not have to have any procedures done. She's, they're going to try her on a medication. Uh, and her, the cardiologist has okayed her to go visit her niece in uh, North Carolina in about 10 days. So that's sounds good. He says she sh shouldn't just sit around and worry. <laughs> so here's a pair of olive green pair of jeans. 
These are by H and M, uh, size eight in a in the U.S. size. H and M is a um, British size also. These have a strange odor. Um, I will have to wash these. I don't like the smell of these. It's sort of like I don't know. It could be musty. So these will go in the wash right away. Because that smell can transfer. I'm going to just throw those over there. Uh, I hope it didn't get on anything else. No. Okay. I'm really sensitive to smells. <laughs> I have an excellent nose. Okay. This is Faded Glory and Capri's. Size 14. So not the best thing here. These are a nice color, however. Or, uh, turquoise. They do have a cuff, uh, a turned up, stitched up little cuff. Uh, not, good size, 14. Faded glory. Those are probably not more than 12 to 15 more toward the 12. <laughs> Uh, it's a pair of darker denim. Oh, these are by Lauren Ralph Lauren. That's good. Got these. I'm having trouble with my thumb. Uh, every once in a while, I can't get that buttoned. This big joint on my thumb. Every once in a while, it gets really painful. I don't know why. It's arthritis, I'm sure. Uh, these are a nice pair of dark uh, denim jeans. Looks like either straight leg or maybe boot cut. Boot cut, I would say. With flap pockets on the back. Sorry, it's hard to see anything dark. But... Uh, L R Lauren jeans by Ralph Lauren. Lauren jeans in a size eight, cotton and elastane. So it has a little give in there. So that's a good pair. Okay. These are capris. Uh, Newport News Genealogy in a size 6, all cotton. So, well, at least it's a season for capris. Newport News is, is an inexpensive more brand. But they're in great shape. This feels like a big pair. Has some uh, wear on the hem. These are size 32, no, 42. I don't, by 32, I guess that means. And I've never had this brand before, so I don't know if this is anything good or not. It's plug, P L U G G. Plug, <laughs> but it's a nice. It's a big pair of men's jeans, all cotton. Men's forty-two by thirty-two. Yeah, it says right there. Okay, I'll have to look those up because I've never, never seen this brand before. Uh, like I said, some wear on the hem which usually doesn't matter that much, especially in men's jeans. They don't seem to, to care. These are like a pair of work jeans, I would think. <clears throat> okay, another pair of heavy jeans. These are, oh dear.
1983 denim. Uh, let's see if be here. XXL. Oh, it's by that brand S H E I N Sheen, which is a brand that's just been showing up in the last year or so, I would say. It's not a very good brand. And it's just a plain pair of sort of tapered jeans. I would say these are men's size. Uh, just as XXL, so maybe a women's. Usually men's aren't sized like that. It has some whiskering there. So I wouldn't think those are very good. One more pair, I think. No, a couple more things. Uh, Terra Sky. I have no idea what that is. 16W straight leg. These are women's probably plus size. And they have a W after it. That usually what it means. Just a straight leg. Terra Sky. That doesn't sound like anything. So I have to look that up. Yeah. Oh, Hollister is owned by Abercrombie. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Abercrombie seems to be doing better lately. Hmm. So these are, I think, an inexpensive pair. We have two more things in there. I have to count these. This is white. Looks like skinny jeans. Selvage denim. A white pair of uh, they're destroyed. Yeah, selvage with the J denim. See they have rips and tears here. And uh some holes. But they don't look dirty at all. They look really clean. So definitely, and raw hems, they're definitely a tapered skinny jean. Selvage jeans. Look those up. You think Terra and Sky is a new Target brand? Oh, okay. One more thing. Oh, this is not jeans. This is a Ann Taylor Petite, but it's a factory Ann Taylor uh, denim dress. That's good. This is a short dress. It has its own tie. Some zippers, exposed zippers. And the back, the back. Those no, I saw pockets, but I was just seeing the belt. So a little denim dress with uh, dark denim, lightweight, de uh, lightweight denim. It has a zipper down the side. Self-belt. Uh, just a little sleeveless denim short dress. So that's okay. Let's count these pieces here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten pieces of denim. So I think I'm pretty sure I'll make my money back on that box, but it's not anything spectacular for sure.
Terra and Sky is actually a Walmart. Oh, dear. Okay. Thanks, Randy. I tend to link American Eagle, Abercrombie, and Hollister all together in your mind. Uh, okay. So, so Terra and Sky is actually Walmart. Okay. Let's open this next box and see what this is. I don't know what this box is. Must be the clothing. Yeah, the clothing. Apparel box, 10 to 12 pieces. $29.99 plus shipping and shipping is five dollars on these boxes and then with tax comes to $37.35 each one of these boxes. So oh, this looks feels like a bathroom. Let's see. The circle. New with tags. Morgan Lane. Fab Fit Fun. It's a large. It's a little robe. Uh, sort of knee length. A uh, little robe. Pretty in a satin type fabric. And there is the name. Morgan Lane. Fab Fit Fun. <clears throat> Not big, not real big sleeves, but they're just uh, regular sleeves. So a bathroom, a little, whoops, a tie. There's something velvet, really soft. Looks like a dress with a tag, vintage velour. This is uh, Pad Jamagram. I never pronounce this. Here, what does that say? Pad Jamagnum. I don't know. Medium. Has a tag on it. Looks like a little, little velvet. Uh, Spaghetti strap, little dress, and vintage velour. It's almost like a slip dress made of velour. <clears throat> Did I have a size? Did I say the size? Medium, yeah. Okay. Just a little knit top, a little tank top. This is by Old Navy. Looks like a medium. It's a fuzz. It's a black and white striped uh, little tank top by Old Navy. Pretty much. Here's a. Oh, this is a good one. Polo Golf by Ralph Lauren. This is by Polo. Polo Golf, Ralph Lauren. This is a good brand. Is new with tags, has a sale a price of $38. It's extra extra large. It is navy blue with some red and white on it. And it says USA on the back there. Oh, USA has a patch on here from 2014. Oh, that makes it vintage, doesn't it? 
not quite. <laughs> I'm two years ahead of myself. Uh, USA 2014. There's some sort of a cup there. Uh, yeah, nothing on the sleeves, just USA. So that's okay. Ooh, here's something real chiffon-y. Has to be a dress. Yes. This is by La. Looks like Lost. Lostforher.com. It's a buckle brand. And has a $46 price tag on it. It's new with tags. It's a little dress, uh, like a tank top with embroidery, like ivory, and then a tool bottom, all lined, or, yeah, tool. This will be look much better when I get this ironed. I'll be really careful so I don't meld it. <laughs> you can't just iron this helter-skelter here. But there's a lot of tooling here. Maybe some of it will hang out. I don't know. But Lost, the size small. It's a buckle brand. Just a little dress. The top was uh, went to TJ Maxx. Compare it thirty. They had it on sale for sixteen ninety nine. It was marked down. Boy, I'll take that off. Marked down to six dollars. <laughs> CNC California, but it's all linen, so that's good. So we'll take a lot of those tags off. Ah. Uh, it has a little caps ruffle sleeve. It's black, sort of a burnout uh, fabric, but it's all linen. A little pullover uh, v-neck top. Some buttons there, wooden buttons. Size small. So that's okay. I take a part of this tag. Is that wrong? <laughs> Let's see. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh, it's still good. It's a plus size. Both Walmart and Target have done some rebranding. Maybe try your steamer. On that tool, yeah. <clears throat> Here's a white, it's like a sweater. This is 525 America. That is new with tags. It's called bleach white in a large. 525 America. I don't know. Three quarter sleeves. Um, it's new. It is sweater. It is a sweater knit. And it's very white. The bottom has a little niche notch there. It is rayon and nylon. So a white sweater for summer. This is soft. Another thing good about these boxes, a lot of these boxes are new with tags things. Whereas thread up things, there's more, there might be more, you find better brands maybe sometimes, but there's a lot of things in thread up boxes 
where there's damage or things wrong with it or dirty or something. And very seldom are they new with tags. Sometimes, but not as many as these. Oh, wow. I hope that hole's in the back. <laughs> this is one of those bodycon uh, dresses that just hug your figure. This is Fashion Nova in a size small. There's the tag. It's just a really stretchy, stretchy. Uh, there's the front is like that, and the back has a big hole out of it. I mean, a big open space cut out on the back. It just is all draped and ruching along the sides. It makes it all draped. And it's this color that I never know what to call it. It's mauve or... I don't know what that color is. <clears throat> that will... You know, even when you put these on the mannequin, it hugs the mannequin, and then where the mannequin stops, it just shoots in. It doesn't show good on a mannequin either, so. But it's called that body calm, con, calm. This is new with tags. Size 12. It says two piece. I probably only have one piece. Jones of New York, uh, size 12. This is the skirt. Okay. It's like a uh, crinkly, it's all lined, crinkly fabric. Let's see. The other pieces in here. Pretty sure, you know. No, we just have one piece of the skirt. Well, that's too bad. Jones in New York, size 12. Skirt. Tadashi Shoji. Shoji. That's a... I believe that's a good brand. I think I had something else in this uh, brand that when I looked it up, it was very uh, high priced. I can't even say it. Here, I'll show you. Tadashi Shoji. So this is a dress. In the top, you can feel this is quality. It has, uh, of course, it's lined where it should be, but it has see-through there, netting on the top. And it goes down, has a dropped waist. And the skirt is sort of a, I don't know if you can see this, sort of a pleated, it's not pleated, but it's ridges like. This is blue. It's blue, navy, dark navy blue. I bet this is really pretty on. Uh, uh, there you can see the ridges there. Very pretty dress. And if I say the size, size four is on the tag. Size four. It doesn't, it's covered up where maybe the real price would be. But I'll have to look that up. It has a zipper down the back. This is like a form fitting, goes in at the waist. That's really pretty. Uh, Yes, the Tadashi is a great brand. Yes, I know. I had that before. I was really, uh, I think I may have even sold it 
I'm not sure. I have to look back. This is Hampton Hampton Knights. Maybe it's a nightgown. Oh, it's new with tags. It's a price tag of $89.99, uh, reduced to $66.99. So that's good. This is purple. It's a little dress. I don't know if it has a zipper or if you just pull over. Slip on, little slip on dress. Uh, it has straps on the back, which would go on your back. And it's a size 10 Hampton Knights polyester. It's all polyester. But nice color. It's lined with the, uh, like a sheer, semi-sheer overlay on it. <clears throat> I'll have to look that up. Okay, this is soft. Oh, this could be a... No. no. Well, it has a Marshalls tag on it, $24.99. This is Mac Studio, size extra small. The original tag was $78, however. Uh, this is a maxi skirt. A maxi skirt. And the... Uh, Around the waist has some detailing there. It's just a little size. Compare fifty dollars was twenty four ninety nine at Marshalls. So nice knit maxi skirt. Maxi skirts are good. And one more item, bright white. Inc. International Concepts. International Concepts. Oh, this is a great big shirt, uh, like a uh, like a sweatshirt. It's new with tags again. Medium thirty nine fifty. There's lots of fuzzies here on the back, but it's very clean. Clean and white. So international concepts. Sort of a diagonal knit. Has a zipper pocket on the front. This is nice for summer. It's not real heavyweight. So that's good. So let's count these pieces. Where shall I put them? Sorry. Then we have one, two, three, excuse my back, three, four, five, skirt without a top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen in that. Thirteen in that one. Okay, let's mark that down. Okay. 
Uh, how many denim did I say was in that? See, that's how. Is there 12, 11, 12? How many denim? Does anybody remember? <laughs> was in the denim box. Okay. Oh, the FedEx. FedEx truck is here. FedEx means thread up. So, uh, I may have another box opening or two in the next couple days. Or not. Depends on how much I want to get through of this one. Okay, <clears throat> where's my knife? All right, I think this is shoes. No, maybe not. No, this isn't shoes at all. Yep, that's a thread up box. <laughs> it's a big polka dots, gives that away. Okay, this is something I haven't bought before, but I saw somebody else opening one that was pretty good for being the thrifty box. This box is only $14.99 with the $5 shipping and tax came, comes to $21.34. So it's 10 pieces, and it's called the Thrifty Apparel Box. Now, I haven't ordered that before because it just sounded like it wouldn't be anything at all. But then I saw somebody open one, and it was just, it was pretty good. So for being so inexpensive. So I thought I'd just try it for the fun of it, and it was available. It's a really big, heavy knit sweater here. Marilyn Forbes, Vermont, made in Italy. And it's mohair and cotton. So a great, huge sweater in this tweed, uh, heavy knit, chunky sweater with these, uh, they're made to look like leather. They're red buttons all the way down the front. All the buttons are there. So right there pays for the box, for sure. Boy, this would be warm. This is a, definitely a winter piece. Ah. <laughs> uh. Unless it has any big, huge holes in it. Right, that pays for the box right there. Okay. Rena Rowan for Seville in a size 12. Not a good brand, but it's a uh, sort of a crepey type uh, fabric, button up little shirt. Has slits on the side. It's pretty. I like the pattern. I like the colors. Uh, it's collared. It's all ran. So it's a cute little short sleeve top, ran top. <clears throat> Pocket in the front. Here's uh, something with Aztec print, uh, raindrops, Pap Papillon by Papillon, medium. It's all viscose, so it's going to be really nice and soft. It's a sh just a really short sleeve or cap sleeve. Has a little pocket there in an Aztec print. Uh, just something to throw on in the summer. Little top, kind of cute. Uh, 
I only saw him bring one thread up box. Now I've ordered two, but that doesn't mean they come both at the same time. They could come a month apart. That's how thread up is. Okay, this is, oh dear, these are fancy pants by Gap, 10 regular. These are like satin. Sure, they're polyester, but 10 regular. I'll have to get a magnifying glass to see all that. But they are just like a black satin, shiny uh, pants. Have belt loops, zipper, a bar, and uh, you know, whatever you call that bar and clasp thingy. Ten regular, like evening pants, these would be. I think they're like maybe straight leg. We'll call them evening pants. Oh, here's something. A pair of panties. And a 3X in black. They have a $6 price tag on. A pair of brand new pants. Underpants. Another pair of pants by Express. Columnist, 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 <laughs> columnist. Uh, eight regular. I can't think what you call this bar and something. This is missing one of its little hooky things. Hook and bar. Hook and bar. That's what they call it. Uh, this is like, um, they're ch it's check. It's not, uh, it's not houndstooth, but it sort of looks like houndstooth, but it's more of a check. Uh, like straight leg, maybe a little tapered. Has pockets in the front and the back. A pair of pants. This is Moa Moa, extra large. There's the brand. M O A M O A. Moa Moa. It's a little uh, elastic, like a boho blouse, and a crepey type fabric, bell sleeves. This blue has ruffle along the bottom. So that's cute. What size are you? Extra large. I said that. Extra large. Could be off the shoulder. You really can't go wrong with this box, especially after the first thing's already paid for it. Rayon and polyester. <clears throat> okay. A pair of corduroys in this red. Wow. Abercrombie and Fitch. Uh, I like that now. Don't ever wash this in with other clothes. I'll tell you right now. Red corduroy. If you want everything in your life to be pink, just wash it with these. These uh, are like a low rise, medium at most. The size six, cotton and spandex, Abercrombie and Fitch. In this nice uh, red corduroy and a straight leg. 
maybe boot cut. Are you guessing on the number of <laughs> off the calm off the calm again afterwards on the denim? Yeah, I think these are boot cut. These uh, red cords. A white blouse and a large old navy. Cotton. You can't really see it, but it has embroidery here, and it's in an Aztec design. It has it uh, elastic at the sleeves? Really nice and white. It has a wide neck. It's just a big, wide, cool shirt for summer. Uh, do these these are uh yeah these are these are little uh oh it's all the way down the front too it is a button front and they're little loops button and loop this is really pretty when you see it very pretty old navy in large this could be extra extra large too i mean it's really good oversized blouse i'm afraid to put that next to that red <laughs> although it was next to it in the box i guess uh h m this is nice this is a uh, sort of semi sheer has a little cap sleeves, black, high low, button down the front, uh, sort of a notch V, a notch V neck there. In a size 12. Uh, size 12. Good. Just a little knit something. Little knit tank top that ties around your neck. It's by Old Navy. Not sure how this goes. Oh, there. It has a cut out in the back. There it is. It's like this lavender color, which is in right now. Just an old navy small top, sleeveless, and the back has a cutout and ties at the neck there. <clears throat> Not worth much, but it's okay to list. This is pretty. Liz Claiborne. Career extra large, just a short sleeve career piece in this pretty floral black with polka dots and uh, flowers. It's like a polyester spandex knit. It's this uh, sort of like like a travel type fabric. So there you go. This was good for just being a thrifty box. I'll have to order some more of those. How to get inexpensive. Um, let's count these. <laughs> I'll put this one, two, three, four. Six, seven, pants, eight, eight, 
9, 10, 11, and the big sweater is 12. So that's 12 in the thrifty box. Okay. There we go. I'm going to recount the uh, denim so I can write it down before I forget. Who said what here? Somebody said 11. Somebody said 12. Here. You know what I've been watching? I've been watching the, the Johnny Depp uh, trial. I've been binge watching the live trial. It's on YouTube on the on the some sort of a court uh, channel. Okay, one, two, three, four, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Neither one of you are right. It's 10. Pen for the denim. And the other two boxes were 12 each. Where did I put that? Denim. 10. Okay. <laughs> You've been keeping up with it too? Yeah. You know, once I try start watching something like that, it's hard to stop watching it. It goes so slow. And I, I've always liked Johnny Depp, and uh, I just can't believe all the stuff that he's uh, gone through. And it, it, geez, it's really something. Anyway, so it's interesting. I guess he's suing her for defamation of character. You can see why. I hope he wins. Anyway, he had a trial for this in the UK, and I'm I'm not I didn't notice it back then, but uh, I wasn't watching it back then, so I don't know if the UK trial was she suing him. And lost, or was he trying to this same thing there and lost, and and now is trying to do it, the, the suing her here? I'm not sure what that UK trial was, how that went. Yeah, it's pretty bad what he's endured. Yeah, I'll say. <clears throat> so. Yesterday, or this morning, I listed the last of the shoes. I think I only put four listings on today. And then I ran out of things, although I did take all the pillow shams off of my bed pillows upstairs and washed them. Uh, they're like simply, uh, what is that called? Simply chic? No. Simple chic. I forget what they're called. Anyway, they are different patterns that go together, and I thought they would be uh, good to list because I don't use them on my bed anymore. And they were just lined up on the floor, so I might as well wash them up and put them. I took the pillow fillers out and just listing the shams. They're just square, you know, like 24-inch square pillow shams shabby chic simply shabby chic and I think I got them new in uh, Target I think they carry that brand uh, so anyway yeah I'll have those to list too I have to iron them up but now I have all this and now I have a thread up box sitting waiting for me on the porch Oh, maybe that's where I ordered the shoes. 
maybe one of the thread up boxes. I think one, this is the smaller box. This may be the shoe box that's on the porch because I also ordered a 50 pound bag, that box of men's clothing. And that's not this box. So I think that's the one that's going to come later. Yeah, I hope he wins too. It is interesting. <laughs> uh, so that's my box openings from the Blue Box Company or the Goodwill Company. Can't get over how heavy the sweater is. I would think this was hand knit if it wasn't that it, that it didn't have a, uh, a label in it. But it is somebody hand knit it, probably. It's from Vermont, Marilyn Forbes. I'll have to look that up. But it's made in Italy, mohair and cotton. <clears throat> this is for when it's really, really cold. So I'll close for now, get these things sorted out and hung up to sort of hang out some of the wrinkles, maybe. And I will see you back, uh, depending on what I decide to do about this, the box. I may open it still this week of shoes. I think it may be. And then I will, uh, if it's apparel, I may wait till next week. But we'll see. Anyway, I will be back on Sunday for the What's Old video, for sure. Until then, have a great week. Thanks for all the prayers for my sister. Uh, yes, she's doing good. She feels fine. And hopefully this medication will keep this from happening anymore. And it's just lovely to get old. So I will see you again. Thanks for joining me.